I mean, if you want, if you think you're going to make me move, you, you, know, you cannot do anything legal about that. As much as you might not like it, you can't do shit about it, bro. Conversation. We're not trying to yell at you guys. I do like the crunch wrap supreme. Okay. I, I like the uh, cheesy bean rice from here. <laughs> what are we doing out here today? Baking a cake. Hold on. Listen, listen, buddy. Don't buddy me. Up, I don't got to talk to you, man. I'm telling you, I'm not on their property. Listen, so do, do your research people. first. Welcome back to the People's Court Audit Channel. The best place to see cops getting on, learn your rights and help spread awareness to the people. In today's first video, we have a man that single-handedly left several police units speechless after confronting the police on their intimidation tactics. So let's jump right into it. Damn. You see this? You see what's happening right here? I said, do you see what's happening right here? Do you see what's happening right here, man? Yeah. She's failing the shit out of this test. So, I mean, See, I'm here to because but, but some that's, folks carry guns. So, and what though? That's not that's really not illegal. Want, we really don't want, yeah, but we really don't want But this makes you guys look what, dude, you guys know exactly who we are, what we're doing. That's that's well, we un, know what it's not we don't logical. Know all of who we are. But what well, we could be telling you guys, like, badass, you're getting a drunk driver off the street that could be affecting us. But instead, now we got all these units showing up. That's crazy, dude. That doesn't make sense, right? No, well, that's what we have to do. You don't have to. It's ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I mean, I don't think either of these guys said anything to you, any of these guys. I know you're just showing up late to the party, but it's ridiculous, man. Yeah? He peed on himself, huh? Crazy, dude. Crazy. You don't ever give us an opportunity to make you look good when you do this. This is called intimidation. There's no reason for this bullshit. I mean, nobody's doing anything illegal, so, I mean, whenever we get to a point where... Nah, go yourself dude i'm on a sidewalk you're gonna have to put up some tape i wouldn't follow that kind of bullshit order i mean if you want if you think you're gonna make me move you, yeah, yeah i mean i'm not doing anything do you know what interfering is i didn't threaten anybody and i didn't touch anything so i didn't interfere that's not interfering well, no one said anything well, when we first came up. no no it's, it's not though when we first came up nothing was said when we first came up so for him to get out of pocket like that it, 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 it wasn't called for, it don't matter if you were here or not. Cops like this are the ones that make it harder for us to trust the police, and the ones that suffer the most are good cops and innocent civilians. Just because they were called out on their intimidation tactics, they start to make up the laws, and the problem is that it works most of the times, and so they get used to it. This is why it is important for you to know your rights, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. This is a sidewalk. The First Amendment allows me to do this and to speak and yell all I want as long as I don't threaten anybody. You cannot do anything legal about that. As much as you might not like it, you can't do shit about it, bro. I can sit here and scream all I want. Fuck the police! Fuck the police! If you arrest me, you're screwed. That's a First Amendment issue. It's, you literally swore, you're laughing like it's a joke, but you swore an oath. You don't seem to understand. If I threaten somebody, sure. That's, that's, not, that's, that's, that's not the freedom of speech. That's, I mean, you can't go in and say bomb, but you know what I mean? You, that's not the, if you threaten somebody, you incite public, you incite public violence, you incite public excitement. That's not freedom of speech. But me coming up to a cop and saying doing his test is not illegal. Houston versus Hill literally says I can interrupt you while you're doing your job. It's Supreme Court case law which overrides any kind of ARS or municipal code that you would try to quote to me right now. I know what I'm talking about, dude. I'm not. I, this isn't my first day. I mean, I've been studying law longer than you guys have fucking have, than you have. I mean, when's the last time you, you read any kind of law more than the first couple sentences to, you know, acclimate yourself to? I hear a lot of cops say that, but at the end of the day, I prove you wrong. Every, do every time. I mean, you don't have to. It's scary that the ones that have the job of enforcing the law and protect us are the ones that know less about the law. But props to this guy for calling them out in every lie they told. Battle Creek. Here we go. Let's yeah, we can do that. We'll go to Battle Creek. Hello. Hello. The spicy chicken. Are we not being verbal? Too. Yeah, that must be the twist. That sounds We're just really trying good. to have a conversation. We're, We're not trying to yell at you guys. I do like the crunch wrap supreme. Okay. I, I like the uh, cheesy bean rice from here. <laughs> What's going on? I like the burrito supreme. It's 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 good. They're charging five bucks for that. Are they really? Really? Yeah. It must be that nice sour cream. About this? Really? Yeah. I always add extra sour cream, so that puts it over five dollars. Yeah, really, it does. Mm hmm. Just for one simple burrito that I can make at home for like 50 cents. Right, right. It's crazy. It is crazy. Totally insane. 
Please. Gentlemen, can we can we have a conversation about what's going on? I just at least want to have a talk with you. Sorry, I was worried that the music was going to travel over here, but it didn't. <laughs> She's so mad. It's like they won't talk to me. <laughs> This is the perfect example of why you should never talk to the police. Because really, what can they do? One of the best walk of shame I ever seen, so to speak. And props to the male officer. His reaction and the fact that he walked away told us that he knows our rights and he appreciates a good laugh, even if it is at his expense. Not like this current cop, look at her face. Now, we all know those people that refuse to listen to facts and reasoning and act childish. So, what happens when they become cops? Sir. Deputy Burnett, Greenwood County Sheriff's Office, how are you? Good, man. So what, what are we doing out here today? Baking a cake. Hold on. Well, they don't want you on the property. Um, which well, when we get on their property, then then they got problems. But you're, you're standing on the property. This ain't, this ain't their property. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it is. No, it ain't. Yes, sir, it is. Got to be an easement. The side of the road? They got to be somewhere to walk on both sides of the road. You know that. No, sir. Anyway, this is called so, an easement. So before, well, you you already know. Before you go any further, I know what I'm doing. Right? Sure. This is an easement. I got a map in my pocket. Okay. So don't do nothing stupid. Okay. This is what we're going to do. You got a what? I got a map that shows where their property is at, so don't do nothing stupid, because that'll be bad. Okay. So On y'all's part, not so mine. What are we going to do? You got an ID? I, I always carry ID. You mind providing me your ID? I do mine. Why not? Why would I? So but, did I break some laws? I am not on their property. Yes, sir. Did, you better show me a map then. Did you, did you investigate? Listen, listen, buddy. Don't buddy me. Talk, I don't got to talk to you, man. I'm telling you, I'm not on their property. Listen. So do, do your research you. first. Listen, hold on. We got a call for service. Two gentlemen standing on the property. Then investigate. Listen, you're, you're talking, but you're not listening. I'm listening. I already right, know well, what listen. you're going to say. Listen. I know what you're going to say. We've got the owner of I know what you're going to say. Where you were standing on the property. What? Show me where their property is at. You're standing on it right now. This is not their yes, property, sir. boss. Yes, sir, it is. No, it ain't. Yes, sir, it is. Okay. So, are you going to provide us with any idea? I am not. Why not? Because I hadn't broken any law. You're on the side of the road. Why you can't get on the other side well, of the road? I, I've been over there, and I've been over here, walking down through here. And we're asking you. Do not go near this property. Anything on this side of the road is their property. No, dude, come on, man. Yeah, and there's no dude. No, no, no. Yeah. No. Listen, listen, buddy. Listen, listen, buddy. Listen, listen, buddy. There is a dude because there, I know I'm pictures, legal to stand right here. There's pictures of even you in their driveway. D right, walking back, walking through their no, driveway. That's their property. And you How you feel, dude? We gotta have somewhere to walk, man. Come on. on. I need a supervisor. They don't want. You I need on a their supervisor property. right now. They don't want you on. Their I need a supervisor. Are you gonna provide me with ID? I'm not. I need a supervisor. Not getting a supervisor. supervisor. Me no, supervisor first. Are you gonna provide me with your ID? Maybe if I get a supervisor. Well, you wanna hand me your ID then? Uh, no, not until the supervisor gets here. Well, so you want me to do what you want, but when I ask you to do something. You're a public servant. You serve me. I don't uh -huh. serve you. Until I break the law, you can't tell me what to do. You're trespassing. Okay, give me a supervisor. Are you gonna provide me with your ID? No, not you. I might give it to the supervisor. You might give it to the supervisor. Might. It's very unreassuring, sir. Well, I don't know what to tell you, boss. What's your name? Uh, Norris? Neil. Neil. Look, I'm not trying to be difficult, guys, You're but this ain't their property. No, yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm standing up for what's right. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. So what's right? I'm on the easement. This is a, this is a city easement right here. Come on, get your supervisor out here, man, before y'all do something crazy. We're not doing anything crazy. Okay, but well, I'm not moving. All right. Look, man. How can we help you? You can't help me. I don't need y'all's help. I'm a grown man. I'm 50 years old. I know how to walk up and down the side of the road. And y'all can't bully me. I'm not trying to bully y'all. Yes, you are. That, that, this gentleman right here is trying to bully me. And I know what's right and what's wrong. All right, let's and I know this ain't their property. You already know. You're just trying to bully me to try to get your way because you, you're some kind of authority over me. But you're not. Look like you know what you got some sense. But this guy here, <laughs> talking about not giving ID. Come on, man. You think this is my first time? Do you think it's my first time? I'm talking to you. What's your name again, Butner? Burton. Burton. I know where I can stand and where I can't stand, right? I already know this is a city easement. You you knew that. I, I hope you knew that. When they tell you I'm on their property, you're supposed to investigate, right? If I'm standing right here a foot from the road, I got to have somewhere to walk because I can't walk in the road. And you got to have somewhere to walk on both sides. If this is not a child in a man's body, then I don't know what it is. He's not even willing to look at a map that shows the property limits or follow basic laws. And this officer, he doesn't seem to be a bad cop, but if he wants to be a better police officer, he should take the side of the law and correct his colleague before the situation escalates. How's it going? What's up, man? 
guys from here in North Carolina? We from, yeah, one of those. One of those? Yeah. One of either here or North Carolina? Yeah. Do you guys, guys? I mean, if you are, you are. No, no, I, I'm good. We just out here enjoying this beautiful day, man. What's your name? I can't pronounce that. You can't pronounce McDonald. McDonald. I, some of us rubbed off too, man. McDonald. Y'all got bad numbers? They don't give us bad numbers. We have unit numbers. Would you like that? Please. Adam twenty nine. Adam twenty nine. What's yours, guy? Adam twenty nine. The same. Y'all all the same. Y'all driving the same car? Twenty eight. I got you, man. What's your name? I, pronounce that for me. Heard. Is that right? Okay. I butcher names, man, and, I, and I'm not trying to disrespect none of you guys, man. I don't hate cops. I just hate when they're trying to come out and let this guy right here bully and trying to bully somebody off of a freaking easement. Telling me this is their property. Knowing good and well, it's not. Well, that, he's just trying to figure out what you guys are filming. It don't matter what we're filming for, as long as we're not breaking the law. You're obviously filming for something. I, absolutely. Everybody does stuff for a reason. Sir, so would you mind stepping out of the roadway for me? Thank you. See, the, you got to give some kind of directives, man. He's a grown man. He knows how to walk across the road. And pedestrians have the right well, well, you're right. This right Actually, here doesn't belong to them. Have the right, right but this right here guy was trying to, oh, man, he was about to do something stupid. Oh, no, this is their property. Oh, he showed us a picture. You was on their property. They absolutely did not. And that's the problem these days. Well, Y'all try to. It don't matter. We walk him back and that's forth. I know. I got re, I got resources. Yeah, it's called Greenville County Tax Map. It's hey, whatever, man. Up, right? Yep. But the fact that y'all pulled up the GIS map to see where their property line is so you can legally walk and not be on their property shows me that you kind of are wanting to push the buttons, right? right. We're kind of that line. We come to film. Right. Right. We, we, right. right. we, we want to be protected, and I was about to break it out and show this dude here until he got all aggressive with me, and I told him to do his own investigation. He, he already should know this was the easement, man. If he don't, he does now. And that's why we out here. We're trying we to educate. We're trying to educate people, especially officers, especially this guy right here. Well, I just educated him. Yes, I did. Now you know you can't make me move from right here. It's not their property. How are you going to keep saying that? He just told He just told you it wasn't. You can bully me all day long, but you're a tyrant. That's what you are. That's what you are. You try to bully people. This guy right here didn't try to bully nobody. Look, look, look. Here's what we're going to do, okay? I'm going to know what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to wait here until y'all leave. So, if y'all want to find a parking lot to put your car in and then come back, by all means. So, we're going to go ahead and go. If you would, just please put your car into some type of parking lot for me. Not yeah. theirs. No, not. Okay, I need a supervisor. If I was trying to give you an order for order, I want a I would, supervisor. I would make you leave. Okay. Uh, not an emergency number right there. For order. I just told you, you're lawfully standing right here. You you yeah, no, you was talking about the truck, man. I'm, I, I heard you. Okay, I, I you got you, man. I got you, but you can ask okay. for a I, I'd like for y'all to call me a supervisor. No, no y'all don't do that. No. If I request a supervisor, no. okay, Let's I'll see about that too. Yeah, go, go ahead and see about it. We can go to the Four McGee Street. Okay. Right. Yes, sir. I'll have a good one. All right. See Trying to give unlawful orders. I ain't having today. Try to buy see, and then they got to give directions. Oh, you got to move your truck. But we're not gonna. We're not gonna make it. This is the best cop theory I have ever heard. If you don't know the law and you break it, you are a criminal. But if you inform yourself of what you can and cannot do, you are provoking a reaction. Give me a break. And let me know what you think about this, because I don't know if you noticed, but this cops left without calling the supervisor as requested. And this is why it is important for you to know your rights and help spread awareness to the people. So make sure to support the channel by subscribing for more content like this, smash the like button and leave a comment with your opinion to keep the conversation going.